Hello everyone, here it is my 2000 subscribers Q&A. Not my questions, six of them, but eh, I'll be happy with what I have. So, first question, one Kiptong Bogdy. Who have been your biggest influence when making your own YTPs? I think that would be The Things 1 and LegoJack94. Yeah. Thanks to The Things 1, I like Sus. A lot. I think. Which sources are your favorite to poop? I don't have quite, like, the favorite sauce. I try everything. Joke. When making reaction to call-ups that I've taken part in, do you dread coming to watch my entries? I do. Well, I did. I think now I will not. Because you see, I dare you. I, I have... I wanna dare you. I dare you. I double dare you, Bonke Tonk Body. You go there and read the f all, all first volume of a manga called Franken Fran. You go there and read it. And after that, you will see, because you know, I've suffered through your entries, so you go suffer, suffer too. Read it. Are you into video games that much? If so, what are your favorite? Who, who's not into video games right now? It's like watching TV. There's a lot of games. The, the last I played was... The last game I finished is... Uh, Ace Attorney... The... Justice for All, yeah. Just a couple of days. I'm actually thinking about ordering a DS Lite on eBay to play Trials and three. I don't remember the, the second word, the second word, the name, to play on a real DS Lite. Because DS is just stupid. DS Lite is cool and you can play Game Boy Advance. Next, Miss Kitty, are you Russian? No, I'm not. I was in Eastern Ukraine, born and raised. <laughs> I'm Polish, but... Well, I, when I was born, I was Ukrainian. Now I've dis it was discovered that I have Polish roots, and it's better for me to say I am Polish. Because if I do, I'll, I will be allowed to go to Poland. And Poland is much better than Ukraine. Yes. Why you stop making TTG video YTP videos? And if I used to make, why did I stop? I actually made one. Lately, Brad Spector, what is planned for the future of the channel? For the future on the channel? Things, many things are planned. Are you trying to work on other things that besides YTPs? I do. I am working on it right now. It's a game review. Now, left trigger gamers, top 10 SpongeBob SquarePants episodes. That's too much. There's too much of them to choose. Ten. Are you going to make a shout of the dead YTP? Because I loved your hot fuzz one. I don't know. I have to see it first. Can't get to see it. I also have a world's end YTP, but it's a Russian one. You can watch it. Your thoughts on Metal Gear Solid series? It is it is a good game series. First game I played was Revengeance, then uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and it was cool. And then I played the, the original Metal Gear Solid, and it was cool too. Of course, those are completely different games, but it's still cool. I mean, I cried. I I'm pretty sure I cried a few times in Solid, even though. Actually, funny thing, a really funny thing. I was so angry, you know, beating Sniper Wolf was so hard for me. So it was like, I've defeated Sniper Wolf. She's dying, all like dramatic moment. All the is there crying, and I'm standing there like. 
<laughs> now, come at the old boy. You watch anime, right? Can't say I don't. How did you get into anime? Well, <coughs> to a certain amount of time, I think that amount of time was over like two or a year ago, where everything, every anime I saw was just underwear, was just showing underwear or the stupid advertisement like Pokemons, Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, actually, if you're asking me how did I get into anime, then it turns out I was watching anime without even realizing it. I was watching Superbook. Super book. Yes. I had VHS. I shown them. If you saw my VHS bag review, I had Superbook. Two VHSs of car Christian cartoon anime. Yes. Then I watched a lot. You know, I was, I wasn't, when I was small, I wasn't allowed to watch Pokemon and I'm thankful to my parents for that because it's just like commercial. Then, you know, when I was a bit, a bit uh, older, yes, uh, you know, I was watching a lot of cartoons into foreign, in foreign languages because there was only channels with cartoons in foreign languages and I watched a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh in French yes I watched Yu-Gi-Oh in French and I liked it and I watched Yu-Gi-Oh Generation X too I don't remember a lot of it but yeah but, but as I said as uh, all I missed I saw was like advertisement or just stupid fun service it was then it was then I noticed a certain not anime, but manga. I'm actually m like manga more. I don't know. I just like sitting and reading. But anime, of course, is cool too. So, and I read the Parasite manga. The one about where a guy has an alien in his hand. Of course, I discovered it in a weird way. I was in, in a site called Joy Reactor. So I was browsing, browsing. And there's a picture from... A certain picture, yeah. When his hand turns it to a... Uh, he's like... I suppose you know what that means, yeah? Turns into a certain body part that is not supposed to be on the hand. And then I read that manga and that was freaking epic. And it all went uphill from there. Yes. What are my favorite anime? If you mean like anime, like animation... What the heck are you doing here? Oh, I just look at that. You think you can just come to my house and you're like... You little piece of... What do you think you're doing in my house? Hmm? Sure it's not my house. What the heck are you? Eh? Eh? No. I'm gonna see more than that. Murder. <laughs> Man, it would be fun if somebody makes a manhunt thingy. <laughs> dead. You're dead. Not big surprise. Bugs flying around, yeah, you know. <sighs> Lately, I've been seeing one huge insect traveling on my walls. It's scary. But back to anime. Yeah. What are my favorite anime? If you're asking about like animation, like the one that you can watch, I'll go with uh, Trigun, Trigun, and maybe some of you will say that it, it's Trigun. But, I don't know, for me, it is, that letter means E, not I. I know four languages. In one language, that letter doesn't exist. In two languages, it means E. And in one language, it means I. So I'm gonna go with Trigun. So Trigun and 
Trigon, Nichijo, yes, um, Barakamon, yeah, it's very, very cute, very nice. As the manga is good, uh, but again, you know, all of those uh, Barakamon, Nichijo, Azumanga, there were moments that I did not like, that kind of messed up my, messed, messed up my impression of the thing at all, but still, well, so what, the one about high school as you know danchi nichijo or something it's actually kind of nice because you know uh, the, all those slices of life were always some put some girls make them like do fun service and that's all and that is like man guys bros and it was actually fun now what else maybe no but if you're asking like anime, you mean like the style and, and animation and manga because you know I read more manga than I watch anime then I'm gonna go you know I like split in categories either it's extreme cool intense and stuff either it's just cute and funny so I in the cool category I would put Berserk Berserk of course it's all time um, then Trigun and uh, manga is much more cooler than the anime because in anime it doesn't have Razlo the Trip of Death if you don't know who Razlo the Trip of Death is I demand you go right now and Google open Google pictures and search Razlo the Trip of Death and then you will understand why manga is better than anime because in anime there was none Razzle the trip of death and in manga there was last or the, the trip of death and I mean Trigon is cool I mean it has a guy with it has guns and it has a freaking priest with a machine gun in a cross you can go against that I go of course you know I I didn't watch Constantine movie but that's pretty so he has something like a shotgun Cross shotgun. It's of course very cool, but the Wo Nicholas Wolfwood has a like two meters cross with built in machine gun and rocket launcher, no grenade launcher. Though. I don't know what else. Uh, Doro Hedoro, yes, Doro Hedoro. This is this is just needs to be read if you like gore, violence and with then sense you know like what is important in Dora Hidora the characters even though those characters who you think you you should be hating like wizards they just come into the this other world to and use uh, people like test subjects but somehow they uh, they have show this artist manga artist She's a woman. I, I was surprised that a woman can draw something like this because just look at Dora Hedora and you you couldn't tell that this was drawn by a woman. I mean, gods flying around, naked women again. Yeah, Dora Hedora is cool. It uh, all the characters were shown like real with uh, emotions, with families, and uh, non-characters, non-character is, uh, can, can die without you being sad, like, it's like I think I heard about Game of Thrones, that a lot of characters died there, well, in Dora Hedora characters don't die that much, but when they do, it's always painful, Matsuki. <laughs> yeah. Why not Suki? And <clears throat> so yes. Mm. Oh, and the in the cute part I would put on the first place, on the first all times forever the best place I would put Yotsuba. The best manga I have ever read and witnessed. It is it's pure, clean. Um, how do I say? How, how it is? 
right, there's a word for this. Innocent, yes, it's innocent. It's just cute. There's nothing bad. There's just this five years old girl discovering the world and having fun with friends. It's just beautiful. It, it makes me cry. I'm so happy I'm crying. Seriously, there's tears in my eyes right now because of thinking how beautiful it is because all everything else I've seen, I've seen horrible stuff. Uh, forgive me. <coughs> then uh, the, there will be then Nichi Joe uh, because you know uh, what was there, what messed up my impression from Nichi Joe was just Mio's manga, Mi Mio and her manga. But but that manga wasn't shown that uh, much. And then would be Barakamon, and uh, again there was some pretty jokes. Uh, there were some jokes not for not meant for ch children, and again that girl I think Miva, and she also had a manga, like Mio had. And then I would put Azumanha because, you know, it has that teacher and that coward in yeah also one I tried uh, the squid girl Musume Ika I really like it I thought it's it's cute but then the the other girl who is overly attracted to the squid girl appeared and I I just couldn't go on <laughs> oh also I forgot to mention the cute manga it's Cheese Sweet Home. I started reading lately about a kitten. And that's cute. There's a little kitten. And that is all. Everything is nice and clean. <laughs> and there's the weird category of mangas, you know? It's like, uh, let's say, mm, it's not my fault, I'm not popular. I think, I think it's called Watamote also. Strange thing, I can't say I really enjoyed re reading it, but I kept reading it. It was interesting, most mostly because I hope th this girl will, will get better. But also I like the previous work of the same artist, which is Choku. And I actually think that Serika from Choku is much more normal than Tomoko from... Mm, Watamote, yes. Maybe she's not m norm, much normal, but she's much nicer person. I mean, of course, Serika does very strange things, but she does it with good intentions. She just loves that guy now, I think, and she just wants to show that to him, not, not wanting any bad. And Tomoko, I mean, she goes around praying for misfortunes for somebody. Even for people who wish her good, like her cousin. Yeah. Also, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, high school boy's life... Yeah, life. High, high school boy's life is pretty cool, man. I must say, pretty funny one too. Uh, especially, I find funny the literary... Uh, how do I say it? Well, the girl who was always standing then on the near the river writing novels, and she, like, she fe always fell. But yeah, I think that is all. I think yes, yeah. Best Russian dubbed anime. No, I I think I can talk about manga once more, a bit more, about one disappointment I had. You know the. Monster Girls, yes, there's a lot of them. It is said for me that they are used for what they are mostly used. Not just fun series, but just porn. And it doesn't make me happy because, you know, it's it's half humans, half animals. It's so wide uh, area for imagination man. I mean it's sci-fi uh, that's all they can make and I were uh, and I like I thought to myself oh it would been no, 
What the heck is that? It was nothing. So I thought to myself, oh, it would be nice to see, like, a monster goes in a modern world, like they live, adapt, and then I saw the, um, what's it called, uh, daily life with monster girl, and I thought, thought like, oh, what, just what I asked for, and then I open it, and I watch, and I'm like, oh, she's hugging them without realizing she's choking them, that's cute. Then I open the next page, and there's, uh, uh, she's, uh, oh, she's pressing her breast against him without realizing that he's embarrassed. Oh, that's cute. And then I, I, I read some more, and... <laughs> uh. Best Russian dubbed anime? Uh, I don't know. I don't watch in Russian. You know, I kind of try to move away from Russian, especially right now. <laughs> of course, not like much, but if I if I if I have the choice of watching something in original language and in Russian, I would choose original language. Though I played by Bioshock Two in Russian dub. And I say, say that it has nice. But about anime, I, I didn't watch that much. The last time I saw an anime dubbed Russian was... <sighs> was when I wa was researching Kill la Kill for... <laughs> For my YTP, my clothes and meet some more anime characters. I was researching Kill la Kill, and I watched three episodes of it in a Russian fan dub, and it was pretty great. But it. And last question, Joshua so Suku. Uh, is that how I read? It? Is that the way to read it, Suku? Will you do more YTP? Of course.